My name is James Russell Frawley III. I go by my middle name, Russell. I'm third generation Frawley, so my grandfather uh, was uh, went by Russell, so I go by Russell. My late father went by Jim or James. I'm originally from the Midwest. We grew up in, uh, my father worked for General Motors for over 30 years, so we started out, I was born in Flint, Michigan. <clears throat> we lived in Detroit. And then his career took him to Toledo, Ohio, and then he finished his career in upstate New York in a town called Messina, New York, uh, on the St. Lawrence Seaway in the north part of the state, uh, up by Canada. So he finished his career there. So that's where I finished my childhood. My, my t teenage years, so to speak, were finished up there in upstate New York. But I do consider myself uh, a Midwesterner at heart. I'm still a a diehard Detroit Tigers fan, uh, Detroit Lions fan, um, Red Wing fan. So, um, so we've. I finished my uh, childhood up in upstate New York, and then I went to. Uh, I attended first two years of college at Wake Forest University in North Carolina, in Winston Salem, North Carolina, uh, where I primarily studied um, humanities, uh, liberal arts. For the first for those two years <clears throat> was really intent at that time uh, to major in pre-law I had taken uh, uh, a pre-law curriculum in high school uh, including uh, you know two years of, of Latin um, and then um, and then I took an accounting class at Wake Forest didn't do very well in it but I liked it um, so I thought you know maybe that would be something uh, that, that I would be interested in so um, I ended up um, taking a summer a summer work position uh, down in Orlando at the time they were building Epcot at that time. My father my father uh, worked in labor relations and personnel uh, for General Motors, so he was able to uh, hook me up, so to speak, uh, through uh, a friend at the local labor union there in upstate New York. Uh, he ended up hooking me up with a summer job at Disney. Uh, while they were constructing Epcot. So I worked there for the summer and the fall of that and ended up um, transferring my credits from Wake Forest down to Orlando uh, where I ended up uh, getting a um, an AA from Valencia Community College in Orlando and then directly went into UCF, University of Central Florida, where I got my uh, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a, ma um, a major in accounting. Okay, so um, so I got an accounting degree, um, eventually came to Miami. At that time when I got my accounting degree, uh, the, 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 um, they were just implementing the fifth year in the state of Florida where you needed, uh, you know, 30 plus extra hours of upper level accounting classes to sit for the CPA exam. And, uh, and the big four at that time, the big four accounting firms were really looking to hire students that were either into you know already started their fifth year or planning to start their fifth year um but it so but at that time i did i didn't really know uh if i was going to go on and get my uh my master's degree so i ended up taking right out of school actually i was very fortunate to get a job uh through the uh, ucf career placement uh, uh facility there so to speak uh, i got a management trainee position at a, at a, re a major retailer on the um on the coast, on the uh, in Cape Canaveral. So after about a year there, I decided that I wanted to, to pursue my accounting degree. So I came to Miami. So I've been to Miami ever since. That was 1987 uh, is when I came to Miami. I worked for a couple of smaller, couple of smaller local firms. Um, you know, doing pretty much um, everything. You know, you do all start, all types of accounting. Uh, you know, audits, tax work, and then um, then I ended up getting a position with PwC uh, for a, approximately a year. I was there for a year, uh, one audit season, and then um, and then I went into private industry um, where I, I've worked uh, for some big firms here in Miami. I worked for a Beckman Coulter, a, a you know Wallace Coulter developed the blood, blood counter in 1954, so they were. Um, they're a big uh, diagnostics co co uh, company, global diagnostics company in the healthcare industry. So I worked for them in 
uh, really in financial reporting um, at their corporate group um, was a great role for me. Um, I was able to, uh, you know, that's kind of really where I, uh, where the foundation of accounting really became, you know, where it all started to make sense for me there. I was there for almost eight years, did a lot of traveling overseas uh, to the subsidiaries overseas and, uh, you know, doing in-depth balance sheet reviews in different countries. So that was a great experience. Um, they, Wallace, they sold Wallace Coulter, uh, Becker and Coulter was sold in 1998. So um, I had an opportunity to, get, you know, to go out to California with the, with the new uh, parent. Um, but I decided I wanted to stay here. So I took a couple of uh, smaller roles, or an assistant controller position and a controller position in two uh, startup companies here. One in the environmental space and the other uh, in, in the internet e-commerce at the time. So... Um, so after that, um, I, after, I think after the e-commerce company, uh, you know, with the uh, dot-com, you know, bus, so to speak, um, I went back into private industry where I worked for, um, you know, in financial reporting, SEC reporting roles for Lennar Corporation, and then finishing up with six years at Burger King, where I was a senior manager of accounting policy and technical accounting there, uh, went through the IPO. And it did a lot of great things there. And then in 2010, when the private equity firm 3G uh, purchased Burger King, um, many of the many of the original people there were, were let go. So it, so in December, so in February 2011 was my final day there. Uh, since then, I've been consulting, uh, doing project work, <clears throat> basically all types of project work. Uh, you know, financial reporting, interim controller roles, uh, implementing guidance, all, all types of uh, project work for the last six years. And recently uh, started my own uh, public accounting firm, registered here, licensed and registered in the state of Florida, Frawley and Company, PLLC. So I'm kind of the 10% entrepreneur right now. I'm trying to hopefully eventually transition full time uh, to my firm, uh, kind of a boutique uh accounting firm, um, which is why um, I'm pursuing this uh, certificate in business valuation. I have a lot of valuation expe experience um, in that I've had over the years, uh, you know, valuing certain aspects uh, from a technical accounting perspective. Um, so I, I think a certificate of business valuation, what I could use it for, <clears throat> give me a lot of opportunity in other areas. So I'm really excited about uh, about the program. From a personal standpoint, uh, like I said, I've been in Miami for over 30 years now, so I've seen the demographics and the whole city change quite a bit from 85 till now. Um, I'm married, been married for 29 years. My wife is from Chile, so we are definitely a, bi a bicultural family. I have three uh, wonderful kids. Um, uh, they're all uh, working now. Um, I have two boys and a girl. Uh, ages uh, 25, 27, and 36. Uh, one is the oldest one is teaching is a teacher. Um, he actually has a master's in higher ed in uh, administration, higher education. So actually, he, you know, he's he's not he's more involved in other in more of the curriculum side of uh, uh, of this uh, charter school company that he works for. Uh, my daughter is a social media account executive at a firm here in Miami, and my uh, my youngest son is in, is into uh, inter internet marketing firm, uh, where he does all of the online marketing. Um, so they're I, I'm fortunate that they 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 pursued um, careers I think that are going to be important in the future: communications, academics, uh, you know, internet uh, uh, marketing. Um, so. Uh, but I do think that also, uh, uh, you know, accounting also is is going to be a is still going to be a, a significant field. I'm an adjunct professor currently at the School of Accounting in uh, FIU here in Miami. I teach ACG 2021, which is the required accounting course for all undergraduate majors in the School of Business. So I taught it for the first time last spring. And then I taught a review class uh, this summer for in order to be an accounting major, at least at the School of 
uh, at School of, uh, of Accounting at FIU, you have to pass an exam in addition to passing uh, 2021. Um, so I taught the review class for those students that took the exam this summer, and I'm teaching, uh, again, uh, ACG 2021 this fall. <clears throat> it's a great, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I mean, I think from, a, from somebody in the accounting profession, uh, you know, trying to uh, teach accounting to students of all types of business majors, marketing, human resource management, finance, international finance, that's a great challenge for me. And uh, so um, I, I enjoy the class. I enjoy uh, I enjoy uh, teaching and in, in, in very fond of my students. Uh, so um, so that's kind of it right now. My you know we're a very active family. We do a lot of things outdoors. We like the beach. I like to surf. Uh, my son has a boat. My oldest son has a boat. Uh, my youngest son likes to dive. So we're very Florida tropical. Uh, family. Um, we like to do things, we're active people, like to do things in the city, take advantage of the cultural uh, offerings that Miami presents, um, and, and, you know, and the good restaurants, and, and so on and so forth. So we thoroughly enjoy it here, and um, and plan to stay here. Um, hopefully, though, we, we you know, the, the thought is to also have a place in Chile. Uh, my wife is from Chile, and she's from Vina del Mar, Chile. Uh, it's beautiful there. And uh, we, uh, we we visit there every year. She still has family there, and um, it's a wonderful place. And so we're we're uh, with a, with you know with a lot of different aspects to to the country. So we're we're hopefully going to be able, hopefully the goal is to have some small little place that we can go to there um, every year as well. So, anyways, I'm excited about this class, and I look forward to uh, you know to, to uh, meeting uh, the other students. Thank you.